Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us His truth, and honors and citations to the elect. So I, I want to entitle this, um, Your Life has been plotted against okay just to uh show that life right now is it's uh it's not sweet man okay it's not all that it seems it's uh we're actually in dangerous times <clears throat> where it's gonna get very serious People are going to be in a pitiful case. You know, as the scriptures say, people are going to die of grievous deaths, as the scriptures say. And it's going to be a time of trouble. OK, that the earth has never seen before since there was a nation, man. So. Every day, you know, uh, uh, since. All right, actually, for uh, generations, man, our lives have been plotted against to uh, continue to have us in uh, captivity, man, in this uh, s uh, slave type of mindset to uh, uh, brainwash us, for lack of better words. Because outside of uh, this American philosophy awaits. Uh, uh, uncomprehendable power man That is going to be given to us By the true uh, God for lack of better terms By the true God Which is the God of Israel man Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah But so that we know So that we don't ever Reach that uh, um, Which the elect will reach it but so that we don't ever reach that, our lives are being plotted against. By who? By fucking who, man? That's right. Your buddy. You know, your best friend. Your fellow Christian. The so-called white man. But... Ultimately, while he's brainwashed as well, <laughs> it's it's really starting with the uh, elites, with the so-called uh, uh, I'll say Illuminati, man, to uh, throw off their damn algorithm. You know, beginning with them, which they're or the uh, uh, elite banking families, man, the real rich, oh the. Bill Gates and uh, Jeff Bezos is in competition to be the richest. Shut the hell up, man. The real rich is those damn elites, man. Okay? Damn elite banking family, man. Starting with them. They're the main ones, man, who plot against our lives every single day for generations going back. Okay, so this is Proverbs 27 and 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Right, because what's their end all be all plot against you to continue to make sure that you don't ever come into that stead of complete power from Yahweh Bashim al Shah? That RFID chip, the mark of the beast, the end of the show. The end of the Lord's show, okay? The end of you damn Edomites rulership, man. The indication of the end of you Edomites rulership and the indication of the beginning of the rulership of Jacob, man, which is going to be forever, according to the scriptures, man. Uh, Lamentations, the fourth chapter. Thou shalt no more go into captivity. You will never go into captivity ever again. 
when at the end of Esau's kingdom, as the scriptures say, Jacob held the hill of Esau, meaning we will bring him out of power, meaning right, right after him is us. Okay, that's going to be that's going to come into power. So it says a prudent man perceived the evil and hideth himself. Right. So a wise man. He sees the evil. OK, that ultimately these elites are plotting against him. For for generations now. And we hide ourselves. We hide ourselves, man. From the world. Okay. We had ourselves from our, uh, uh, the, the, that strange apparel, you know, which is these other bullshit doctrines. And we had ourselves, uh, in Yahweh Basham Al Shai. Like the scriptures say, um, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right? Clinging unto the Lord. Cleave unto the Lord, man. That thou may be increased at thy last end. A straight banger, man. A straight banger scripture, man. Straight up and down, plain. Cleave unto the Lord that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So who's worried about Oh, Esau's watching. Or Esau could do this. You know, Esau's watching, right? You know, the so white man watching you, right? And this. Who's worried about that, man? When the Lord said, we're going to be increased at that last end, man. When the Lord said, when the enemy coming like a flood, the standing of the Lord shall be lifted up against him, man. Who's worried about that, man? When we about to be princes, man. We already are princes. But we're about to come into the power of a prince, okay, of a king. So, essentially, ain't nobody got time for that, man. Like Jake say, nobody got time for that, bro. Y'all wish I say he's coming to give us life that we may have it more abundantly, man. We ready to live, man. Fuck all that shit. We're going to have pet lions, man. Pet wolves, pet uh, uh, unknown creatures that Esau can't even phantom, never will. Esau ain't going to be chilling. Like, yo, check out this pet I got. We're going to be doing that amongst each other. Brother might come to my part. Like, yo, look at this. What the? He never even seen it before. You know, I go over there, go over to another brother's spot. He never even seen that. Esau ain't going to be do getting able, being able to see all that. After all the shit he's done, and he going to be having fun out here? You know, according to the Lord, the Lord saying, hell nah, man. So it says, but the simple pass on. Right, because when we go out there in the highways and byways, try to tell them, look, look, come in, come in. Hey, take the Lord's hand, man. Come into the shop. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Come into this uh, strong tower, man. Says, but the simple pass on. Yep, yeah, you're simple. You are simple as hell. You don't even care that your life is being plotted against every second of every day for generations, for generations, man. They're just plotting against you, plotting against you. How can I make this nigga fall? How can I make him never come into his heritage? How can I make this so-called Hispanic man never come into his heritage, man? How can I distract him? How can I make the so-called Native American man never come into his heritage? How can I keep him distracted, man? But 
you know, and you don't even uh, uh, acknowledge that. You don't even care. You are happy with your life now in captivity. You a simp. You a simp, man. And we way too of a spiritual people to be simple. We way too special to be simple. It says, but the simple pass on and are punished. So now you are going to be punished. You are going to fall right into the hands of this guy who has pulled plots against us of every second of every day, man. So let me get Psalm 64. This is show. That there is a people that plots against us behind the shadows for generations now. All in the hopes of keeping us in this, in this stupid, scared state of mind. To where if you do see that he's the damn devil. If you do see that you're a special people, you're too scared to do anything about it anyway, man. And that's a lot of these so-called Christians. That's a lot of people, actually. That's why a lot of people drive around, you know, give us like the fist pump, fist pump, man. Like a like a black power type of fist at us. Not even playing around, really believing, man. As they drive by or as they walk by. Because they know. And Lord willing, may they be the one third. At least they do that much. But that's up to you about Shema Shai. But anyway. The thing is, they don't. They, just, they don't have the spirit on them, man. Well, not them per se. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to throw them in there. I'll just say a so-called Christian, man, who we may know, but he's too scared to say anything about it, man. But that's just going back to what Esau wants. And then you just got your dumb nick, your dumb freaking monkey ass, retarded ass, born in vain, made to be destroyed. Two thirds, man. Who are just straight monkeys, man. Right? They don't care at all. About nothing, man. And why is that? Because the so-called man has, been, has plotted that against you. He wanted you to be in that state, man. He wanted to kick you while you was down. So it says, uh, let me get to the point. So it doesn't have to be too long. Uh, verse 2 real quick. It says, Psalm 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Malachi uh, 1 and 4. A lot of people... You know, two thirds are wicked, but the wicked is uh these Edomites, man, and they have a secret council, a secret council, and it's against you Israelites, you you Negroes, Hispanics, and natives, man. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. All they do. Is work sin. Remember. In the book of Maccabees. It says. When Alexander the Greek died. Wickedness increased. When the Greeks came into rulership. Wickedness increased. Who are the Greeks? You Edomites. Who are the Edomites? The wicked. What do they do? Work iniquity. That's why when they come into power, wickedness increase. Because they're the workers of iniquity. Iniquity is uh from the Hebrew word here, I won. It says trouble, wickedness, sorrow. Trouble, wickedness, sorrow, man. Wickedness. And what's wickedness? Transgression of the law. Okay? In, a, in, in your mindset as well. 
jealousy. You know, all those are in, internal internal things, man. That Esau has. It says who wet their tongue like a sword. W H E T meaning to sharpen. Who sharpen their tongue like a sword. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Who's the perfect? The Israelites. Right? A people so near unto him. Okay? Who 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 are the partakers of both covenants, the old and new testament? Says suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. And how do they shoot at us? In secret. Okay, so they here it is. They 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 study the scriptures, man. They study how we supposed to be living, right? And they go in to make sure we live in the exact opposite. The Lord say, "Don't commit adultery." If you make a banging song about adultery, right? If you make about sixteen banging songs. Including adultery in it, include murder in it, everything against the scriptures in it, bring it on Esau's desk, he'll give you a deal. Give you a record deal. You could take that money and it's enough to get a mansion, a nice car. You know? So it says uh they incur so so all these things, man, they do. To make sure that we're continuously living in sin. Your life is being plotted against, man. And ultimately, this is the very end. To where he's going to actually come forward to each and every single one of us individually. And try to uh, 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 physically. You know, make it. Uh, 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 put it right in our face. So it look, nigga, you better sell out right now. He going the pressure is gonna be on through that RFID chip. So and essentially he's gonna say, Oh wait, you're not taking it, then don't come to my effing store. You know, you ain't a you ain't a citizen no more. Jesus say it's your job to, to 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 point these guys out so that we can throw them in prison or whatever, or whoever is gonna go down. So, you know, knowing that your life is being plotted against every second of every day by the wicked. It's essential that you hide yourself within the Lord so that you can be protected because that's the scripture the Lord is going to get him while he is eating. While he's in the midst of finally coming down upon us, that's when the Lord is going to return, man. And when he returns, we're going to want him to save us. All right. So, you know, our people need to shaping up and get serious and get ready. Because this shit about to go down, man. And it's going to be glorious, man. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious, bro. Why? Because this is this 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 time right now will be told for all eternity. This is the new Egypt. This is the new deliverance of Egypt we're living in right now. So this will all be a beautiful time, essentially, man. It ain't fun going through it. But we will be delivered and it will be glorious and it will be talked about for all eternity, bro. So all we have to do is have faith. Low wellness was edifying, and I'm gonna say shalom.